Okay, we are going. It's recording. What's up? What's up, guys? It's me, Tunza, and uh, I'm here with Rizigo. Fuck, I fucked up exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> I have yeah. it written down. <laughs> oh, start it over. What's up, guys? It's me, Tunza, and I'm here with Rizigo. And for the first video of the year, I figured we'd each pick five games that we're looking forward to in 2022. Uh, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Uh, you go ahead and start. Go, you go first. Okay, my first one is Sifu, which is right around the corner. It's that kung fu beat em up that every time you die, you age. Um, it's by the same people that made Absolver, which is a super like weird online like fighter. But it's uh, I played it. It's fun. I'm looking forward to it. You you, yeah. you any bit excited for it or anything? Uh, it looks kind of neat. I just want to be a ninety year old man. Which you can be. Yeah, I guess, like, as you get people. older, like, your health gets, like, smaller, but you get, like, your critical strikes get better. Probably because more experience and whatnot. That's true. You got to hit harder. Or let, you don't hit as hard, so you got to hit more accurate. Yeah, like, you're hitting and doing, like, pressure points and all that fun stuff. Uh, I mean, that's all I really have to say for it. I'm looking forward to it. It's probably the closest thing on this list to being out. Uh, actually, I think I have you beat, because oh, my yeah? first one is Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, yeah, January, uh, this, right? Yeah, this releases on the 28th of January. This is your Pokemon game, but they've done it differently. This is more RPG-like, more open world, um, and it takes place, like, in the past. Uh, from what I can tell, it's pretty interesting. There's some variants that are exclusive to the game, so that can be pretty cool. Um, I don't really. I've tried to stay away from some of the recent trailers because they like to like mess up everything and tell you every point of the story. So, uh, what I've seen of it, I'm excited for. And it's Pokemon, so it'll probably be good. They have a pretty high standard. I like the gameplay twist, like the way you battle and capture, and like everything's done in like real time. At least it looks to be. Yeah, I like that you can actually be attacked by the Pokemon. Uh, I think that's a cool little yeah, change. Like attacking you and you're dodging like attacks and abilities. It it looks good. I'm right there with you though. On I will not watch another trailer till it comes out or till it's in my hand. I won't watch somebody talk about it. Pokemon's one of those weird games where like they dumb down the trailers enough, and it's because they're kids' games. But like they'll show everything and the lore. Like you cannot learn anything new. And then also yeah. the community will just blast everything out there it's weird. very true i've been trying to stay away from it so but that's my first one okay uh my second game is lost ark which technically came out in 2018 but i think in korea and russia and it's coming to north america on february 11th i believe it's just an mmo like um i don't know how to describe what the gameplay is we'll, we'll have it on the screen anyways but it's just it it's just an mmo that looks to me, what got me into it, it's already almost done. We're like in the sense of it, we're coming into a game that's already been active and alive. Instead of like New World, where I was super hyped for that one, and then we're already waiting for new content. Like this game we're coming into, and there's already been a development of content. So it should be fun and different. Yeah, I don't play MMOs, so. Oh, it's also free to play, so it that also a seller. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a you title, not a me, really. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't play MMOs, so. Yeah, I just play everything at this point. Uh, my next one, I've kind of just, no particular order, but these ones actually have, like, dates. Oh, nice. uh, so I was I wanted to knock out the two that did. My f next one is Monarch. Uh, it's a school-based RPG from the former developers that worked on Shin Megami Tensei. Um, so it's very much that art style and kind of gameplay it does fall into the horror genre in some way i'm not really sure how that works exactly but it's referred to as a horror jrpg um so it's taking a new spin on that uh each one of the students that i think you team up with throughout the game stands for like a like a, one of the seven deadly sins like gluttony or um pride like pride stuff like that Indeed. so that that's kind of neat i always like when they like take the deadly sins and try to like i guess convert it into like a human form uh but this game releases at the end of february well that's cool it's one of your most anticipated games coming out at the end of february 
And I just looked. Apparently, all three of the games I'm mentioning now, which is my third one is Dying Light 2, are all uh, released in February. Dying Light 2, February 14th. Sifu, February 8th. Lost Ark, February 11th. But Dying Light 2, we, I mean, we beat uh, Dying Light 1 together. That yeah, when so that good. came out. Yeah, we, uh, I got, remember all our friends got mad at us because it was Super Bowl and we were, like, I was, well, I was here, you guys were out of town. But we played that instead of me going out and drinking with them on Super Bowl. Sorry. <laughs> we're cool. We're <laughs> yeah. video gamers. We beat that game, I think, in a setting, right? Two if not one, it was like two sittings, but I mean, yeah, it's good. This one looks good. It looks a little like, uh, looks a little more sad, I guess. <laughs> well, that trailer okay. they showed at the Game Awards, definitely way more sad. Yeah, so, but I'm looking forward to this as well. Yeah. Um, should be fun, and with four people, we should be able to have like a nice little party. I th- yeah, I think it's nice. Uh, we're actually going to be able to bring like more nerd lag people into it, because uh, his wife has com- beat the game before. Has Dan even played it? I think Dan finished it too. And then we could probably get a good squad of four going in. I don't know how that's going to affect like the choices made, because that was the thing they really wanted to do in this game is like add choices where whatever you pick affects or affects the environment. But it should be fine. That's yeah, fine. You guys, you could just pick, and then I'll just go with the flow. Yeah, I'll be I'll, I'll be decision maker. Yeah, uh, <laughs> my next three don't have dates, but the first one is Hogwarts Legacy. Um, we were supposed to hear something about this, like it kept being rumored at the end of the year, maybe the video game awards, maybe at like the last PlayStation uh, event, and nothing came of it. There is rumors that sometime early 2022 we're supposed to get like more information about this, but Hogwarts Legacy takes place like before the events of Harry Potter, and you are a student at Hogwarts, and you basically can go to class or fuck off or you know. <laughs> to play your quidditch and things it looks really cool there's a lot of like custom- uh, i'm really into it i love harry potter like as is so for me to dive more into like the lore and like just go sit in like a potions class or something is is pretty intriguing to me so this is uh something i hopefully we get in 2022 i don't have to yeah i'm excited for it hopefully we do end up getting it uh, as soon as you start p- pitching about, like, the customizations and stuff, I'm like, dude, can I make, like, the slackerest, like, student ever? Like, never show up to class, always fuck it off, do whatever. <laughs> Probably. Like, like that would be cool. Like, I, I don't know what they're having you do in that game, but I'm excited for it. Especially, like, all the... Like, especially if they allow you to do, like, as much choices as, like, they let on like, about making your own story and character in that game. I think that will be what I'm down for the most. Ravenclaw over here. That's Ravenclaw. I'm gonna restart my game until I get re- Ravenclaw. Yeah, how's that if work? Is not... it like a pick your? You have to pick and the hat like interrogates you and you pick and choose or just like nah, fuck it. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not just you pick. I hope there's like some elements to it based on like whatever. From what I see, it has to be even if it was like a standalone story. You play as some kid getting into Hogwarts would still be cool. Like, yeah, I'm into it. it. I can't wait. Like, if they scrapped... Because I don't know why it got delayed and why we haven't seen anything. I'm, it doesn't help that Harry Potter is not in the best of light all the time. Uh, My next game is Forspoken. It also doesn't have a release date or anything. But uh, mainly, I'm excited because it looks like Final Fantasy XV, like, teleporting around as Noctis. And it just looks beautiful. It looks crazy. The abilities are fast. I like that. It's like an Izakai. Like, some normal person got put in a magic world and is trying to figure out and survive, but you get a bet. Like, powers? Yeah. That's what I see. I mean, it looks like it could be pretty interesting. I don't really know too much about this one. I just seen that one trailer, and that was about it. Yeah, same. It just, I remember it being leaked. I mean, I I think it's running on Unreal 5, so it's going to be like, or whatever the next Final Fantasy is going to be on. So it looks beautiful. Like it looks great. I just like the movement, the fast movement and the abilities and if they even if it's more of a linear game, I'm I'm totally down for it. Never hurts to have a more linear game. Not everything has to be this massive open world thing. I mean, that's the thing we shift to in the last 10 years has just been these massive open world games, which I'm cool. I'm also down for those, but give me a game where I could just I don't have to make every decision. 
True that. Um, anything else for that one? No, no, I'm good. My next game is Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot. Uh, this was supposed to be a 2021 game, and it got delayed. Um, so I'm assuming this will still be 2022, like early, maybe like second quarter. Uh, but this is a reboot of the Advance War games. They like redid the graphics. Um, I don't know if they've changed like the base of the game itself. Like, I don't know if they've done a whole lot different with what the actual game is. But graphically, it looks good. It should be a nice little fun, like, strategy, clear the board kind of game. Uh, very early, like, I don't even know what, like, style of game. Like, a, like a tactical RPG? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Um, so, I'm excited for it. It looks cool. Hopefully, we get a little bit more, like, a, you know, a confirmed release window. Um, and what if what changes from like the original releases to this release besides graphics yeah as far as i know it's almost like a straight like re like remake but we, i mean we'll see we'll, we'll probably get an indie showcase or something come soon uh i'm expecting to see something from sony as well and then uh my last one is marvel's midnight suns which got delayed from the uh, last year so we'll see. It should get released this year. I think they, I as I was looking this up, it should be second quarter twenty twenty two. But it's a Marvel games uh, take like on a darker story, set with like an XCOM like uh, battle system, which to me sounds great. I, I love it. I also like that they're bringing in characters that not necessarily get the shine in like Marvel's like cinematic world, or in the recent games. Like, so I want it to almost be like a Marvel Ultimate Alliance, but like XCOM, but a little more darker, grittier. That'd be cool. Yeah, I really like the XCOM game, so if it's that kind of like battle system, I can really get behind it. Um, and I'm right there with you. I think we've seen enough of your mainstream Marvel characters, so it's kind of nice to see other ones, because there's so many. Yeah, we're also getting to the point where like, these superhero games aren't just throwaway, like, movie, like, hype trains like they used to be. Like, you used to release a game as a movie was coming out, and it would be a bad game. Like, good movie, but it was just, like, the help hype. That's why I was thinking that Harry Potter may be, like, more towards the, the new movie. Like, when we, like, you know, increase hype, hype everywhere. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I know the uh, that X Men Origins like Wolverine was kind of like the one that I remember stepping it up and being good, mm -hmm. or like a movie. Yeah. Um, but my last one is we have like no information about this at all, but it is Digimon Survive. They announced this back in 2019. Um, we got very little since then, and then it was supposed to come out this year, and then it didn't, and then they've just been radio silent. So hopefully we get something about this. Maybe it's not a 2022. Um, Digimon Survive is like a strategy RPG, like more like a grid-based one. Um, and it's like a horror game. It's pretty dark, graphic novel. Um, so it looks pretty interesting. I'd just like to get more information about it. Hopefully they come out and they're like, hey, we've been working hard on it. It's coming out at the end of the year. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I actually expect this year to be a lot of, like, secret announcements. Or not even, like, secrets. Just like, hey, it's coming July, you know, just, like, real quick. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I gotta beat uh, the Cyber Sloop series because I keep putting that off. It's also gonna be a hell of a year for a backlog that I never finished. <laughs> backlog. Well, I mean, those are... yeah, this basically wraps up uh, our quickly put together uh, pick five anticipated games of 2022. There was a lot more that we could have added, but these are the ones that I kind of wanted to talk about. But um, so I narrowed mine down. He narrowed his down. We tried not to overlap, but there is still a, a, probably a bunch more that we could have talked oh, about. There's so many. Uh, let us know down in the comments what your most anticipated games are. Um, we'd like to have some conversations. Maybe it's something that we just didn't put on our list and we're actually really excited about. 
Yeah, and also get ready for content. It's coming in this year because it's the first of the year, so we're motivated. So uh, um, hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you guys later this week. See ya. Peace. Um, and I honestly, this is probably one of my most favorite. I can't wait to get. Here, say that one more time. Your mic cut completely out. What from what part? Uh, like right before you start talking about your most anticipated game. Okay. Uh, this game releases at the end of February. Uh, it's honestly. <laughs> it happened to the same game again. It's like censoring you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I'm going to do it one more time. Uh, this game releases at the end of February and is one of my o- most paid games. Uh, and I honestly, I can't wait to get my... <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. What, what is causing that? I don't know. Can you, Am I cutting out at any other you're, point? You're coming out as, mo- as soon as you say the word most. Most anticipated. Yeah, weird. Did it, it work that Yeah, time? it worked fine. Try it one more time, sorry. Uh, the game releases at the end of February and is one of my most anticipated games. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it.